Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Small Potatoes Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Azir Striker Gun Vaults. This is actually the game that I go to when I have that itch for that next Mega Man X game that Capcom never came out with. It's actually made by people that worked on some of the Mega Man titles. This is somewhat like Mega Man, but it, it is mechanically different. I'm sure that you'll agree with me once we get into this. So let's get started. I'm playing this on a Nintendo Switch with the Striker Pack, which contains the first and the second game. So we'll be going through all three games eventually, but for now, let's focus on clearing this one first. Before we get into the game, I just want to let you guys know that I will try not to talk over the cutscene so everyone can enjoy the cutscene together. いや、マッサツってところかしら。今や企業の広告塔のワークを超えて大勢の人たちに愛される国民的バーチャルアイドル。サイバーディーバーモルフォ。私も大好き。新曲はそこダウンロードしてるわ。だけど残念。モルフォ
that I don't really remember too much about this game anymore. エレベーターが作動していない。送電を止められたのか。この装置から直接電気を送り込めばエレベーターは動きそうだな。まずは装置にショットを当てて録音してからだ。大撃輪で電気を送り込めばエレベーターを動かせるはず。So, as you can see, whatever I hit with my gun gets tagged or marked. What this actually does is that it allows me to use my flash field ability to deal damage to the target from a distance. It also deals more damage to the target depending on how many times I've marked it. Using the flash field ability will consume my EP energy, which is shown with the bar underneath gun bolt. I can recharge this energy by double tapping the down button. If I run out of energy completely, Gunbolt will go into an overheat state, which then I won't be able to use the flash field ability until it fully recovers. This part right here, you can actually skip majority of the enemy here. Well, basically you can just run past everything, the shutter included. Uh, the shutter only closes when you get close enough, so you can actually dash while you're getting closer, so you can actually run right under it. As you can see on the left side, we actually have a multiplier with a score. So this is actually our bonus score. By touching these uh, green feather icon right here, we can actually cash in the bonus score that we've accumulated. But if you want a higher score, I would suggest you to jump over it and accumulate it all the way to the end so you can have a much better score. <laughs> So this tank thing is actually the mini boss. So the way to defeat it is to destroy that battery thing in the back. But it will hide it unless you destroy the, the head first. So you would want to destroy the head so the battery will pop out and then you can take the battery and destroy it with your flash field. And again we're just gonna ignore that cash out point. So our flash field actually has a secondary use. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we actually negated the boss attack by destroying all the rocket of the flash field. So this way, you can actually negate uh, attacks such as grenades and rocket. As you can see, when we get hit, we lose one of those small white marker under the bonus score on the left. We can actually lose our accumulated bonus if we lose all three of these markers. So this is why if you get hit twice, I would highly recommend you to cash out the bonus as soon as you see those better points. It seems like we're gonna fight another one of these tank bosses, but I think this one has more weaponry. If you're one of those people that chases after high scores, 
if you beat this boss the first time you down it, you actually get an extra 200 points over Secret Sword. There's also a hidden treasure located behind the gold. So before you clear the stage, remember to pick it up. At the end of the stage, it will show you your clear time. If you have a flash clear time, then your score multiplier that you get will increase the score. However, if you're too slow, then you'll get a modifier that will reduce your score. So as you can see, the medallion that we've just picked up is actually for the bonus reward. We get random item by opening these boxes. We got 8 tries because the stage will provide 5 tries just for clearing it. And we also got 3 extra ones by picking up the 3 medallions. この車両に君がモルフォなのか。私はこの子の思いが具現化したモルフォという名のマボラシ。あなた、プロダクションの人間じゃないんでしょ。お願い。この子、私をここから連れ出してくれない。No, I don't talk to strange spirits。情報の修正を。サイバーディーバはプログラムデータなんかじゃない。小さな女の子のセブンスです。何ですって。少女に敵対意志はなし。スメラギに拘束されているものと思われます。スメラギの奴ら、平月猫と仕上がるぜ。これ
叩くトラックありがとうアシモフあねあなたは天使僕は GV ガンボルト君の名前は私は…これが私と GV の出会いでした私はきっと生涯忘れることはないでしょう私に自由をくれた青の翼のことをたとえその自由がつかの間のものだったとしても I remember that I actually like this story quite a bit So,、uh, this part only tells you a bit about the background of the story.、Uh, basically, there's this power company called the、uh, Sumeragi Group, which is like the equivalent of、uh, Shinra from Final Fantasy VII. It's like an evil power company that does、uh, e x p e r i m e n t on people, and they're, they're the bad guys. So, this. World is actually, or、well, more like this nation is actually taken over by this group, and they actually thought that the people with special power, like Genbo, like the adapts, they are actually a threat to humankind. So they start shipping them to these quote、uh, protection camps so they can actually do e x p e r i m e n t on them for energy projects and stuff. So Basically, like Shinra. こちら GV、フェザーへ、任務完了しました。GV ねえ GV? 結局のところあなたが受ける依頼ってほとんどうちからのものなんだしまたフェザーに帰ってくる気はないのあみん、what choice do they have? I mean, they're wanted criminals. Who's gonna give them jobs? フェザーからの依頼は身入りがいいから受けているだけですよあの時アシモフが言った通りですフェザーにシアンの居場所はない彼女には家族が必要だと思うんです僕にとってのアシモフやモニカさんたちがそうだったみたいにだから今は彼女についていてあげたいと思いますはあ分かったわごちそうさまシアンちゃんによろしくねごちそうさまって別にそういうわけじゃさて家に戻ったけどまずはシアンに挨拶かなおかえりなさい GV お仕事お疲れ様本当は私も何かできたらいいんだけどシアンは十分に僕の力になってくれているさこうやって君と話をしてからミッションに行くとミッションで倒れた時にモルフォの歌が聞こえてくることがあるそんな時は僕はもう一度立ち上がって戦うことができるんだ GV <笑>私たちはいつも GV のことを思っているからそれが。あなたに伝わっているのかもねそう、ベーシックリー、シーズ、ライク、ディアダーサイド、オフトコインフォジュー、ライク、ハー、オプシット、パーソナリティ。
モルフは引っ込んでてはいはいじゃあまたね GV うんそうだ GV セーブまだしてないでしょこのゲームはオートセーブじゃないからこまめにセーブしなきゃダメだよ了解セーブは L ボタンでメニューを開いて This reminds me of that Donkey Kong Country video that I did. I forgot to save after I beat the boss in the first zone. And then I have to end up going to redo the stage before the bosses because I forgot to save. So, let's go and talk with her. So, I think that they're talking about Galgan. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. Or you can just look it up. It's actually made by the same company that made this game. Well, after we talk with Jewel, we're gonna save like what she asked us to do. So, we'll call it here and we'll continue on the game in the next video. If you have any tips or hints you want to share, or if you just want to say hello and just ask a question, feel free to post in the comment section down below. And if you like my content, be sure to hit that thumbs up below this video. Also, if you want to support my channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button. This way, you'll get a notification whenever I put out a new content. I'm currently trying to release at least one video per day, so be sure to come back and check it out. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.